Our last exercise on air direction will be using a fabulous tool called the Pneumo Pro. Um, the Pneumo Pro is like a flute head joint, but it is solid instead of hollow. So when you blow across it, the air will move these fans and show you exactly what direction your air is going in, which we want to know in order to be able to play high notes or low notes. Before we start the exercise, get yourself a nice pile of pennies or dimes. You'll be placing these on the Pneumo Pro and having a pile in front of you is a little less frustrating than bending down and picking it up every time it falls down to the floor. So first we'll talk about how to place the Pneumo Pro on your mouth when you're doing this exercise. You want to place it so that it is straight, not crooked in any way. In terms of this direction, You've got a shelf here where, you be, where you will be placing one of your coins. And so that shelf should be horizontal with the ceiling. Obviously, it is easier to spin this fan if I roll in. So that is why we keep the coin there in order to use our lips instead of rolling to spin the different fans. In terms of where to place it on your mouth, uh, it's going to depend a little bit on your lip size and your lip thickness. Um, if you've got very full lips or less full lips, it's going to change a little bit. So you may have to experiment a little bit with exactly where you place it. Most people place it in the center. But again, if you have what we call a teardrop lip, you may be placing it a little bit off center. So in our first exercise, we're going to be attempting to make this fan spin. So this is the second to bottom fan. And this air direction is what we use to play the notes that are below D on the fourth line of the staff. You want to be able to move one fan at a time. This is an indication that your tone will be nice and uh, in focus. If you've ever heard someone playing the flute and the air is very... Uh, the sound is very airy. It's usually because their air is very diffuse and going off in many different directions. So your goal is to practice so that you can spin one fan only. So in front of the mirror, place your, um, your Pneumo Pro properly, making sure that you've placed your penny on top and uh, make sure that your flute is, uh, your Pneumo Pro, sorry, is solid against your chin, that you can't, um, you know, take it off very easily. And so your first step is to try to aim your air down here and make the fan spin nice and fast. So you can start by going, mm, 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 Once you're able to spin this fan alone, um, you can start working on aiming the air to spin this fan up here. You'll have to use your the position of your lips to do that, and we've talked about that in other videos. So now we'll try to aim our air a little higher and spin this one alone. So again, you should have a penny here. And you can see that there, I had a bunch that were spinning. That is not ideal. We want to be able to spin just one. You want to hear that really nice whirring sound, which means that you're using lots of fast air coming from down low. Once you're able to spin this fan alone and this fan alone, then you're going to work on being able to move the air from down up. And notice the lip movement that I do when I'm moving my air from low to high. And the last step for this first exercise is to be able to move your air from the second to the top to the second to the bottom. So going down. <laughs> 